joining us now is the director of Elite Academy Sports Medicine, Kusal Gunawardena, to discuss uh, the impacts of COVID-19, which has obviously decimated the sports industry. Kusal, thanks for joining us. Gentlemen. Hi, mate. How's COVID affected you? So at the University of Melbourne, where we have the clinic, we have found, uh, you know, I think it was ma uh, March 26th, the whole uh, university had to shut down, including our clinic. And uh, we haven't been able to practice since then. So at the university, we take care of all the um, Melbourne University Olympians, Winter Olympians, the national level athletes. Uh, overall, we have a list of about 250 uh, elite athletes and obviously all of our staff and students at the university as well. Um, and it pretty much went straight down. So um, over the last eight to 12 weeks now, we haven't been able to practice and we haven't been able to do the face-to-face the -face sessions. So obviously no one saw this coming. I mean, were you in any position at all to be able to recover in a short amount of time or was it just a, a very difficult period? It was a initially very difficult period because there was a lot of uncertainty. Uh, but then thinking on our feet, we still needed to provide the services. We still needed to provide uh, a way of um, getting care out there, uh, getting athlete assessments, um, the analysis and the treatments. Um, and we jumped, we pretty much pivoted into the, into the virtual world. So there's the teleconferencing or the, the physio consultations that's done all online. Yep. Um, and also something that came out of this was the virtual exercise classes. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, to give you gentlemen an idea, there was a lot of, there's a lot of videos or exercises that are online, mm -hmm. but they're not live. Whereas if a therapist is running these classes, um, during that COVID period, there was a lot of people under stress. Sure. And the fact that there was a, a, a way to connect, uh, we have uh, gotten a lot of feedback on the, on makes, the mental health side. Makes a difference when it's live, right? One thing I found fascinating in our off-air chat was you've worked with a, a bunch of Olympic athletes and with Olympians, you just think, you know, full-time, professional, fully committed, but a number of them have obviously been uh, at uni. Yes, oh, we have, um, every year we have about 25 uh, on our high scholarship uh, list. Um, we've had a lot of uh, wonderful Olympians uh, who've come through, uh, the likes of Katja Kremer, Phoebe, Phoebe Stanley, We've had uh, a fair few like um, uh, Jeff Tho uh, and uh, Luke Chong, who were, you know, uh, they're badminton players at uh, the Com Games. Joe Weston as well. Joe Weston, netball, yeah. wonderful athletes. We're also touching off air just uh, around the cricketers that you're involved with, uh, the West Indian cricketers and Sri Lankan cricketers. I mean, that's so fascinating. Take us, you know, back to how that started and mm. also what you are doing with them at the moment. So <clears throat> the fact that we can take things virtually means that we can do, from a sports physio side, there's a lot that can be done without the person being right in front of us. And uh, we looked at those aspects uh, to find out from the athletes what they needed. Most of it is uh, to do with athlete movement, uh, how they move in everyday life, and then look at programs to uh, improve that. Um, and we can do that using, uh, currently we use a program called Vald Performance uh, and this company which allows us to then analyse um, the athletes' movements. So uh, I've got my uh, cricketers who are in Barbados. So the likes of Kevin McLean and Shaquem Clark, they'll send me their videos on certain movements. I can analyse it and then I can write up programs. So these guys are on the other side of the world and we can provide these programs for them. Please don't tell us you're gonna help produce another generation of <laughs> West Indian quicks Fast like the uh, 80s and 90s. No, it's, it was an exciting time. I yeah, mean, I'm a cricket lover. The Zoom call, it, it just, it's dying at that point, okay? When they're asking you about how to bowl a bit quicker, it's like, sorry boys, the connections, you know, I'm struggling with that. But see, the other thing I see with all of this is this Aussie expertise. I mean, we're very strong in our sports medicine in Australia, yeah. uh, clinically and also research wise. Yeah. And even if you look at uh, the NBA or NFL, most of the Aussie scientists or most of the scientists uh, in America are Aussie scientists. So we're, we're very proud to do what we're doing and help these athletes overseas. But when we do help others, what we do find is our own athletes get better. Right. 
That's interesting. Um, another thing I found interesting was the Band-Aid sensors that pick up muscle fatigue and, and things like bad posture. Now, uh, I'm sure you'd be all over us with our uh, appalling <laughs> posture. We try and sit upright when we can, but <laughs> tell us a little bit more about that. So part of the athlete assessments, um, if an athlete sends a video back, we can analyze it. But that is only a short, tiny percentage of the time that we are analyzing them. If we can analyze them during everyday activity as well. Now, in a 24 hour cycle, there's eight hours of sleep, there's eight, out of, eight hours of training or play, and then there's eight hours of work if, they, if they're doing a job. If we have identified that muscle fatigue is one of the major causes of pain, discomfort, uh, so that's the first type of solution we're coming up with, which is a remote athlete assessment pr um, process. Um, and there are these sensors that you, know, you can have on your body that allow us to see you know, muscle mm -hmm. and how the muscle's fatiguing or which muscles are activated. But what we've come up with the University of Melbourne is um, a sensor that's pretty tiny uh, it's, all, it's a band-aid sensor and you put it on and it'll come up in your app. Uh, so we've developed an app with this as well. Wow. And uh, it'll say, oh look, Casal, from uh, 11 o'clock in the morning till 11.15, geez, your posture wasn't that good. So it'll give you a uh, indicator yep. straight away. Do you think that will, I mean, just looking at the potential of that, I look at Australian culture, I mean, we can be a little bit lazy, I think, sometimes with thinking about our health. It's, it's obviously getting better. What sort of potential do you think, you know, could that be a, a game changer mm -hmm. here in Australia and hopefully? I, I feel it'll be a game changer. Yeah. It's kind of like the day when the toothbrush and the to and toothpaste was first introduced. You know, there was possibly an expert saying, please don't brush right in the middle of the day, first thing in the morning, last thing at night. So it's an education program around that. Okay. And it's the same with this, muscle fatigue, understanding muscle fatigue, and that's just one tiny aspect of the human body. Yep. We're delving into other things as well. The human mind, very important, the connection between the human mind and uh, the body itself. Yeah, that's really Intriguing stuff, Castell. How can people find out more? Uh, they can connect uh, through our website, connect with us. Uh, on our website, there's uh, all the experts that we work with, mm -hmm. uh, including our physio team. Um, we're moving everything in terms of sports medicine into the digital, into the digital uh, and the virtual space. Yep. Teledietetics mm -hmm. is another one. Um, then there's uh, the sports psychology, where we have a, a sports scientist who is right up there. And what's the website? Uh, elite Academy with a K.com. So you just Google that or Elite Academy with a K. Interesting. For why is there a K in the Well, uh, it's because Casal starts with a K. <laughs> Casal. Absolute genius. Casal, thanks so much for popping in and good luck. Thank you. Thank you, mate. That was great. Awesome.